Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the Ikna Da'wa Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Jazak, uh, Jazak sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we threw this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make a dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have they're already very aware of uh, but for our audience it's pretty simple it's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem um we let them know when to begin it begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah the second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference so it's a very general theme you know they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about islam in a time of confusion you can talk about that way, you can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't, we just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be 
better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poet. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to, unfortunately, deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions that you just, uh, that all of them should be within that time frame. Um, so without any further ado, we will be introducing. Can I, add, yeah. can I add one, yep. one couple of small things? So, um, as for the three minute grace period, um, now with the, I know that the performers, they might get a little bit nervous, um, but don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can do. If you go over, you go over God willing, you know, that should be fine. Um, and we will definitely, um, don't, it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well so without any further ado aisha you can introduce the next performer inshallah Let me see. So the next performer, inshallah, is going to be Brother Ahmed. Uh, Brother Ahmed Mustafa. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa I didn't know it was you, Brother Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, damn, why'd we let him in, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. I know you as Med. So, um, inshallah. Yeah, so, alhamdulillah. So, please introduce yourself, um, uh, introduce your poem, and go for it. Stage is uh, yours. Uh, alhamdulillah. My name is Ahmed Mustafa. I am uh, a Muslim. Um, I work in IT and my poem is about uh, modern day afflictions and uh, it's called uh, or I didn't really give it a name yet maybe you guys can help me after inshallah I kind of wrote it on a whim when I saw that you guys were letting uh, people uh, perform 
uh, or send their messages out to the world. Uh, and may Allah help us and help me convey my emotions and my passion to you guys, inshallah. Uh, Bismillah. It says, what has afflicted the people? Is it the Dajjal's age or the digital age? Calling themselves believers, yet they are corrupting the deen. So Allah let them all to dream. So Allah left them all to dream of a Jannah they will never touch and a hellfire is all that they will see. In the lowest part, justified is the destination of the Munafikeen. Don't you get it? There is no submission if you aren't on the mission. They disobey Allah in the open. How is it that you fear the one who should be feared? How is it that you submit yet you openly disobey? But you say you believe, but when amongst the disbelievers, you proclaim your disobedience. You've chased the dunya, but in fact, you have taken your desires as your Lord. Go left, go right, man today, woman by night. Who are you to judge, they say. But how do you command good and forbid the bad without being a judge? And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will say, but you aren't my people for you have left the book. Did you follow the guidance from your Lord or your science book by the one whose hands my soul belongs? You are a people that lie to yourselves and expect us to believe your lies. No, barat in the hell on your own. You have left my way and the ways of your Lord. Go worship your desires and your modern day science and we will surely meet on a day that without a doubt is promised and may peace be upon those who believed but his mercy is written for those who believe and what is belief except that the heart follows and if the heart follows so will the limbs and so will the actions jazakallah khair jazakallah khair for that brother um I love that the fact that you ended with the heart follows, then the limbs, and then the actions, because everything is connected. And um, it's, you know, first it begins in the heart, then it's the tongue, and then it's the limbs, etc. cetera. Um, and you definitely had a message to give. So just so much for that. a little bit rough, but I think it's, it's all to soft yeah. reflections. Yeah, of course, it gives, I think it's going to give a lot of people something to think about, um, because it's very true that there are, there are a lot of problems within the Ummah right now and within society in itself and um it was refreshing to hear that um you had a lot to say about that yeah jazakallah khair and may accept from us inshallah what, yeah, can, and brother what, yeah. ahmed can i just can i just add something as well because you touched on something very powerful um you talked about the concept of the gel and some interesting ideas of duality between belief, disbelief, waking up a woman, going to sleep a man, like th these concepts are very profound and I think you articulated it very well in your poetry. And um, I just wanted to like uh, say thank you for doing that because not a lot of people approach the confusion and the times that we are in with the idea that a system is being put in place for the coming of the jail. So, um, you know, I think that was a very interesting concept. Would you like to elaborate on that in any way? What inspired you to discuss that in your work? Um, honestly, what inspired me about this topic was a lot of what's going on between what I see. Uh, a lot of the modern speakers are trying to address modern day issue without proclaiming the whole truth and kind of shying away from uh, speaking the truth out of fear that they may lose believers. But hmm. I think if we speak the truth, at the end of the day, Allah says that he will divide the people into two camps, the camps of believers and a camp of disbelievers. And at the end of the day, this is a test from Allah. Whether we're divided or not, we got to remember that it is Allah who's dividing us to know which of us are truthful to his message and which of us are truly uh, say with our tongues that we believe. Exactly, and the greatest show of your um, belief is your yes, actions. Exactly. Just have to hope for that, brother. Um, and give my salam to Lizzie as well. Inshallah. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Actually, going to be wrapping things up. Inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's 
um, performer set. So Jazakallah Khair to everyone from the bottom of our heart. As the strangers, as your sisters in Islam and as your fellow poets, we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you. But um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it. We'd like to thank everyone. We'd also like to thank Ikna for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah khair. Aisha, would you like to add anything to that? Um, yes, subhanAllah. You know, I did not expect um, the schools to be so close together. And it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point. And um, subhanAllah, like it's you were every single one of our poets, um, your contribution, it, you know, this whole kind of uh, label of winner here, winner there. Um, my sister and I, we do personally dislike it, but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners, and I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message, and it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, so much, and uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects, and um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, I mean. I mean, okay, and with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work, again, we will um, post more information on our website and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So uh, jazakallah again for watching to all of our performers for Ikna for hosting. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.